praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. For truly our God, I said truly our God, come on, the one that can give us outdoor worship weather on the second Sunday in November, truly our God, nobody but Jesus, amen. I say nobody but Jesus, nobody but Jesus, he is worthy, he is worthy. Our God is so worthy to be praised. Come on, make some noise. Hump your horn, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Nobody, nobody but Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We give him the glory and we give him all the praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to lift him up. I come to give him glory. I come to bless his name. I come to fellowship with the saints today. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. We certainly give thanks and praises to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to all my brothers and sisters that are here with us on the grounds of Mount Calvary, as well as those listening in with us on our church conference call number. We thank and praise God for you, as well as all of you who are tuned in to 89.1 FM on your radio dial. The Lord is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I give him the glory and I give him the praise. Amen. So we are coming for worship and we thank God for how the Lord used Sister Tolliver this morning in the Sunday school lesson, teaching us about abiding love. Amen. And got us into a great position. Amen. Our hearts are warm. Our spirits are ready. Our minds are alert. Amen. And we're ready for the word of God. Amen. So we're going to follow our normal service this morning. Amen. We're going to have, amen, devotion by our deacons ministry, followed by our uh, announcements and welcoming of our visitors. Amen. From our church administrative assistant, Sister Linda Coffey, followed by a selection by our minister of music, Brother Fred Pope. And then I'll be back to you to hear what the Lord wants to say to all of us on this Sunday morning. Amen. Come on, church. Let's have church in the name of Jesus. Good morning, Mount Calvary. Thank the Lord for this blessed day. Our scripture reading is coming from the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. The first ver uh, chapter, and we're going to start with the 12th verse. Giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. <laughs> that, you hear that S on there? Sins. <laughs> who is the image and the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, for by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is uh, before all things, and by him all things consist. The word is already blessed. Our Father, we come now with a heart full of thanksgiving, heart full of praise. We thank you for allowing us to call you our Father. When we say those words, we have, we know that there has all the love in the world comes from you. We know that all comfort, we know that all power, we know that everything that exists comes 
through you and from you. And you have blessed us to be a part of your family. Thank you this morning, Lord. You've been so good to us. We can't count all of the blessings. So we just want to say thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you we had food on our table. Even in a time like these, the enemy is trying to destroy us. That's his goal. But we know that your word is true and it will never fail. So we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for Jesus, the Christ, the one who came down. You sent him down here to save us. We didn't even know we needed saving, but you did. And Jesus did it all, all the way to the cross. So the blood is still running warm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all of the, your people whom you have saved on this earth. Mount Calvary is not the only one. There are many of us here and there and trying to hold up the standard of the banner for the Lord. You've been good. And we want to tell the whole world it doesn't matter whether the president has been changed they always do. But you never change. You're the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And we are so grateful. Lord, continue to bless us. As you see, we have need. You know about our children, the young adults, and even those that are older than them. We t we, we, you, you helped us to hold up the church. So, Lord, we need you to do it through them. Never let go of the church of Jesus Christ, no matter what name it, we call ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all of your preachers and pastors that are still preaching the word. Jesus Christ is the word. Doesn't matter whatever else we say. Jesus Christ is the word. Lord, thank you this morning. We can have so much to say. Thank you for continuing to bless us as we go through this service and the rest of the day. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Good morning, Mount Calvary. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Our announcements for the second Sunday, November 8, 2020. Psalms 22 and 1 says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. Our God is so awesome, and we take his awesomeness to welcome you to our morning worship. We welcome you whether you are wishing, worshiping with us via our phone conference line, our radio station, our Facebook page, or here on the beautiful, windy campus of Mount Calvary. We are glad that you chose to fellowship with us today. We look forward to the fellowship, fellowship each and every week and pray that you feel God's love through us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. From Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Please join the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church Thursday, November the 26th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Lazoo Pastoral Center, 371 South St. Joseph Avenue in Cape Cod for a Thanksgiving community dinner. For those who are homeless or who have fallen on hard times, those of limited means, those lonely and in need, and those who simply want a good meal for the season. No matter the reason, we are welcome for a meal. Social distancing will be adhered to. If we pick up or delivery uh, additional information, please call 815-549-2327, Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Are you a parent of a preschool or grade school child up to age 12 
We would love to send them their weekly Sunday school lesson. Our lessons are Bible-centered as well as interactive. You will receive the lesson twice monthly. Please contact our virtual Sunday school teacher, Sister Dorothy Timms, at 815-937-9123. Your child age and mailing your address. Your child will be mailed out a lesson plan based on their age level. We are so excited and can't wait to hear from you, our Mount Calvary parents. The Angel Tree Organization is looking for individuals to once again sponsor a child for Christmas. If you're interested in the ministry of giving, please contact Loris James, 815-935-5380 for all the information. I'm not sure she's here today, but if she's here today, you can talk with her today as well. Uh, she's blowing, so she is here. So uh, let's see Miss James for the Christmas, uh, the angel tree. Our women's ministry has started to collect for the area nursing homes once again. We're accepting winter clothing and winter outerwear, such as coats, hats, gloves. And make, your, make sure your items are clean and ready to be worn. We are especially uh, asking our men to support this outreach, for there is a great need for men clothing. Let me explain something. Someone mentioned to me when I said outerwear or, or winter wear. For women, we want pants and sweaters and, and things like that for the winter, but we also want coats and gloves and hats and that type of thing. But for the men, we need men clothes. So for the women, we're just looking for sweaters and things of that type of thing. But for men, we need everything across the board. Someone asked me about socks and underwear. I'm sure that the nursing home uh, will be welcoming me for something. <laughs> Someone's going to home for that. Uh, we'll welcome those items as well. And you can please contact Dorothy Riley at 815-370-3. Please keep all of our bereaved Mount Calvary families in your prayer daily as well as our prayer line requested prayers. To all of our veterans, we thank you for your service to us and your country. Thank you for your continued church support by tuning in to our online service and daily prayer line. Your tithes and offering can be sent to 7377 East Illinois Street, Sun River Terrace, 60964, and to our online pay service, Givelify. Download the app, type in Mount Calvary, then Reverend Dixon's name. I encourage everyone to tune in, be a part of our evening prayer line. It's such our prayer starts at 6 p.m. each evening with the exception of Thursday, which is facilitated by the district. Our prayer line is 425-436-6339. The access code is 611536-hash-tash. You can find all of this information listed on our Facebook page. Uh, and please, if you've moved, changed telephone numbers and things of that nature, please give me a call. Uh, so that we can stay abreast of uh, all our Mount Calvary news. Guess what? Last week I asked you had you uh, registered to vote. Don't have to ask you that anymore. Guess what? We voted.
Come on, church. Put your hands together. Amen. I just want to thank you, Lord. Is anybody here just want to thank the Lord? He's been so good. Have I got a witness? Come on. I say he's been so good. Yeah. He brought me out. Amen. He made a way. I wish I had some help this morning. Amen. I just want to thank you, Lord. Yes, he's been so good, church. Yes, he has. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For Brother Fred Pope, our minister of music. Amen. Ushering us that much closer into the presence of a holy and a resurrected God. We thank God for Sister Linda Coffey. Amen. Our church administrative assistant. Amen. Welcoming all of our visitors and all of our family from Mount Calvary. Amen. And we give God the glory. And we thank God for Deacon Paul Elliott Timms. Amen. Amen. With our devotional scripture and prayer. Amen. And I thank God for you, you, and you. Amen. Here with us on the grounds of Mount Calvary. Amen. I, I, I feel a little better now. I see the very fine first lady of the mighty Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. First Lady Eva Dixon with us. Amen. And I'm glad to see all of our mothers. Amen. So many of them with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So glad to have Sister Jackson uh, with us, one of our visitors. And I know we got some of our visitors, amen, listening with us or watching us live over uh, Facebook or YouTube. But we give God all the glory and we give God all the praise. Amen. God is good. And I just want to thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. The question has been asked, is there a word from the Lord? I believe there is a word from the Lord. Amen. And I, I want those of you that are here to turn to a very familiar passage of scripture this morning. Amen. Um, you hear it every Sunday. Amen. From the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter number three, beginning at verse number eight. Amen. And I'm going to read down from verse number eight to verse number 12. Amen. Malachi. Amen. Last book of the Old Testament. Amen. Amen. Malachi chapter 3 beginning at verse number 8. And while you're getting that, I thank God for all the, the men of Mount Calvary. Amen. Doing an awesome job. Amen. Helping to get our outdoor service together. And amen. Amen. Thank God for them and thank God for Reverend Robinson and Reverend Mosley with us as well. Amen. We thank and praise God for his blessings. Amen. Malachi church. Malachi chapter 3 beginning at verse number 8. And the word of our Lord says, Will a man rob God? But yet, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and in offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call ye blessed, and ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. Amen. I've just read into your hearing Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. Amen. The grass withereth and the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Church, I want to call your attention to that 10th verse in this very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. It says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. And pour you out a blessing that there should not be room enough to receive it. My subject this morning is simply this. Ain't nothing held up. I'm going to say it again. Ain't nothing held up. Amen. Amen. If you believe it and if you can receive it, make some noise out here today. Ain't nothing held up. Amen. I, I, I say ain't nothing held up. Amen. Amen. Church, this is a sermon of confirmation this morning. Amen. Amen. It's a statement of affirmation this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, church. 
Death and life is in the power of your tongue. You ought to open up your mouth and say, ain't nothing held up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Speak over yourself and encourage yourself this morning and say, ain't nothing held up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. For a few minutes, I just need your prayers. Amen. We are in this book of Malachi. Amen. And in this book of Malachi, church, we'll find that God's prophets were his witnesses to the early church. Are y'all with me? They all spoke and they bore witness. Amen. And agreed in their testimony about the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Ah, help me, Holy Ghost. And the penman, help me, Holy Ghost, of our scripture this morning is God's last prophet and the final witness to be called to the witness stand, a prophet by the name of Malachi. Amen. And it's somewhat divine in nature, church, that Malachi is the final witness as his name means my messenger. Are y'all with me? Amen. And church, it's good whenever your final witness can also be a messenger. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And church, God's final witness in the Old Testament is sending us a message in the New Testament. I'm going to say that again. God's final witness and his final messenger in Old Testament times is sending you and I a message in New Testament times. And the message that he's sending to us is this. If you obey the word of God, ain't nothing held up in your life. I wish y'all would help me this morning. Now, church, I am very sensitive to this fact. And I know that even during times like these, when some have experienced financial hardships due to uh, reductions in income because of, uh, of layoffs or, 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 or things of that nature as a result of COVID-19, amen, when some have been laid off or downsized, amen, I'm sensitive to the fact. I'm very sensitive to the fact. However, I, along with Malachi and all of the other messengers of God, must stay on course, amen, and still tell the people what thus saith the Lord. Amen. I got to still preach the word in season. I got to preach it out of season. I got to preach it during a pandemic, amen. I, gotta, I can't skirt over it, amen. I'm sensitive to the fact. But I'm also under a divine command. Amen. So I'm very sensitive to the fact. And I know, y'all, that during times like these, ah, we, uh, we got to be more empathetic. And we got to show more compassion. Amen. With the people. But church, I still got to tell you that the wages of sin is still death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. I still got to tell you, even though I'm empathetic and sympathetic, amen, and got compassion, I still got to tell you that the soul that sinned shall die. I still got to tell you that if you don't accept the, the free gift of salvation, and if you don't accept Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, in hell will you open your eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. I still got to tell you what thus saith the Lord. But at the same time, in the midst of some bad news, I got to give you some good news because the good news is always in front of the bad news. And the good news this morning in the midst and in front of the bad news is if you just obey and do what he said, won't nothing be held up in your life. Oh, they used to say nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You got to have something. <laughs> if you want to be with me That's what God is saying Nothing from nothing leaves nothing But if you want to have something Is there anybody here want to have something Then you got to do what he said And if you do what he said You can get what he wants you to have Hallelujah Hallelujah Church I, I know that what I'm saying On this second Sunday in November Might not make sense on the surface I understand that, amen. It might sound insensitive, y'all, amen, uh, for some people during such a time as this. But people of God, please remember this. 
God never told us to have good sense. But he did command us to have great faith. Amen, somebody. Amen. He never told us to have good sense. Amen. As a matter of fact, faith is acting like you ain't got no good sense. I wish I had some help out here today. Amen. He never told us to have good sense. But he did tell us to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. Lean not to your own senses. Amen. Trust in the Lord. With all of your heart, is there anybody here that can testify this morning that I'm trusting in the Lord and I'm leaning on his holy word? He's never found me yet. And the old church used to say, oh, oh, can't turn around. We've come this far by faith. Is there anybody here that can testify that I've come this far by faith? Leaning on the Lord. I told you, church, I told you that Malachi means my messenger. Are y'all with me? And church, I am God's messenger this morning. Sit by here to tell you that if you are obedient to the word of God, won't nothing be held up in your life, even in the midst of a global pandemic. I wish I had some believers out here. Oh, if I wasn't sensitive to the fact that we shouldn't be passing mics, amen. If I wasn't sensitive to the fact that you can pass germs and coronavirus on, I would pass this mic around and some people of God will stand up and testify that God has not been holding nothing up in your life in the midst of this pandemic. Some of y'all done bought houses. Some of y'all done got cars. Some of y'all done got healed. Some of y'all done got confirmation. Some of y'all done got affirmation. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me. Some of your children done got healthy. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me. God will not hold anything up in your life when you obey him, even in the midst of a pandemic. Have I got a witness? Have I got a witness? And church, let me remind you of something this morning. I'm not that kind of preacher that's trying to get nothing from you. I don't need your money. Listen to me, ain't I? am not trying to get nothing from you. I'm trying to get everything to you. Hallelujah, somebody. And let me tell you something else. Not only does Ricky Darnell Dixon not need your money, and if Ricky Darnell don't need your money, y'all got to know that God don't need your money. Oh, he don't need your money. Tithing and being faithful in your giving is all about obedience to God. It's all about keeping the commands of Christ. God don't need your money because the cattle on a thousand hills is all his. And whenever he get ready, he can take the cattle to the slaughterhouse. Come on, y'all ain't going to talk back to me, amen. Whenever he get ready, amen, he can pour out a blessing. He don't need our money. It's about being obedient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I'm not trying to get nothing from y'all. I'm trying to get us from, uh, from being cursed with a curse. To get from being cursed with a curse into the blessed realm. Come on, y'all. Uh, of miracle signs and wonders. That's where God wants us to go. Hallelujah. Anybody here want to go with me? Oh, the old church, you say, come and go with me to my father's house. Y'all don't know nothing about them old songs. Come and go with me to my father's house. There is peace. Nothing but peace. Sweet communion up there in my father's house. In my father's house. Don't you want to go to my father's house? If you want to go with me to my father's house, somebody make some noise out here this morning. Come and go with me. Come and go with me. Come and go with me to my father's house. Mm. Church, these verses, Malachi 3, 8 through 12, these verses are part of uh, those conditional scriptures I've been talking to you about on Wednesday nights where I've been trying to tell you that God's promises are rolled up and baked into conditional
foundational scriptures where God says, if you do your part, I'll do my part. God says, if you do this, what all that, I will do that. Amen. And, and I don't know about you, but I need some of his that on top of my this. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. The scripture, y'all, this 10th verse implies that because some of you have not been as obedient as you should have been, that the windows have previously been closed and blessings have been held up from being poured into your life. Now I know some of y'all looking at me like, huh, Pastor, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I've been doing all right by not being as uh, uh, faithful as I should be. See, it's a difference between having the window open and having a crack in it. Oh, they gonna talk back to me. Amen. See, I grew up in Joliet. Well, we didn't have much. See, we didn't have central air conditioning. Amen. Sometimes we had to crack the window. Y'all ain't going to talk back to me. And then you put the box fan, amen, after you crack it, then you open it. Then you put the box fan in the window. See, y'all too blessed to know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all grew up with central air and all that, but y'all don't know nothing about that. Amen. But before you get the window open, it's got to crack first. And some of y'all said, I've been doing all right. But look, here's the reason why you've been doing all right. Because there's a scripture that says God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. You've been getting by, amen, with, with some droplets. But God don't want you to have no droplets. According to verse 10, Reverend Robinson, he wants you to have a downpour. Is there anybody here that's tired of droplets? Anybody here want a downpour? If you want a downpour, make some noise, make some noise. Make some noise! Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. hmm. This is what the word says. Church, listen to the Holy Ghost this morning. Giving brings blessings. I thought I had more than one uh-huh and one yes. Giving brings blessings. Obedience brings blessings. And church, listen to this. Fruitfulness follows faithfulness. Oh, I'm going to say that one again. Fruitfulness follows faithfulness. Amen, somebody. Now notice something. You got to read, then you got to read. First lady, this is what I love about the word of God. If you read and then you keep on reading, you'll see something you never saw. Now notice. The scripture does not say nothing about the windows being closed after God opens them. Y'all ain't with me. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Notice something. The scripture does not say that the windows ever close after God opens them. Are y'all with me? Amen. So all the word is trying to tell us is that when you are a faithful tither, when you are a faithful giver, you ought to expect that the windows of heaven will always be open in your life. And God will always, he will always pour you out of y'all ain't going to talk back to me. Come on, I can just imagine God opening the windows and saying, there go my boy. Who pour me out blessing after blessing. So much that my blessings are overtaking me. Have I got a witness out here? The word never says that he closes the window. Think about this. Think about this. Going back to my old analogy. Growing up in Joliet See, in the summer months, we had to put the box fan in the window. But when it got in the fall and in the winter, you had to close the window because it was time to turn the heat on. Are y'all with me? But notice God says, regardless of the season, let me hold it close, I'll keep the windows open in your life. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Church, if you are faithful to the commands of Christ, you ought to expect blessings to flow in your life. And it ain't always just money. He'll give you peace in the midst of the storm. He'll give you shelter in the time of the storm. 
Come on, he'll keep food on your table. Come on, he'll let the death angel pass. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to him. He'll let the death angel pass over you. This is all the blessings that he's talking about. Amen. He he didn't say you wouldn't get sick, but he did say no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. God didn't say, amen, that every day is going to be sunny, but he did say weeping may endure for a night. But if you hold out, joy will come in the morning. He'll take you from a sad state to a happy state. He'll take you from a down state to an up state. Have I got a witness? Amen. God says if you just abide in me and my words abide in you, you can have whatsoever you will and I'll do it for you. Is there anybody out here stupid enough? Is there anybody out here crazy enough to do what he says so that you can get what he wants you to have? Listen, church. Listen, church. I know it's been tough. I know times have been tough. I know it's been rough. But God says, listen, you cried in private. You prayed in private. You suffered in private. But I'm about to open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing openly because you've been wearing my name. Is there anybody out here that will say, I I'm wearing his name. I'm wearing his name this morning. Come on, anybody here can say, I'm wearing his name this morning. How you wearing his name this morning? I don't know about y'all, but I'm wearing his name this morning. My name is Victory. Help me, Holy Ghost. My name is Victory. Amen. Somebody ought to say, my name is Victory this morning. My name is Victory this morning. God says, I know you cried in pride. I know you prayed in pride. I know you've been suffering in pride, but I'm about to open the windows of heaven and I'm about to pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive it because you've been wearing my name. Through it all, you've been wearing my name. You never denied me when you didn't understand what I was doing in your life. You didn't understand why I did this or why I allowed that to happen, but you never stopped wearing my name. And because you've been faithful to me, I'm going to be faithful to you. Hallelujah. Go on, quit and dance if you want to. Give him glory if you want to. Quit shouldn't be the only one dancing this morning. Somebody here ought to say, I didn't understand. It didn't make sense. I had to cry. But God, now I kept on wearing your name and I need you to bless me indeed. Enlarge in my territory. Keep your hand upon me and keep me from all evil. God is saying it's time for your public blessing. It's time for your coming out. It's time for your coming blessing. God says I'm about to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I'm about to anoint your head with oil. Surely your cup is about to run over. Anybody here want to run it over a miracle blessing in your life? God says because you've been wearing my name. Because you've been wearing my name. Because you've been wearing my name. God says you are a reflection on me. You are a reflection on me. And God says because you've been wearing my name. You can't be wearing my name looking no any kind of way. So therefore, I'm going to open the windows of heaven. And I'm going to pour you out a blessing that there ain't room enough to receive. God is saying, you are a reflection on me. You can't be wearing my name looking no any kind of way. So I've got to do you like Joseph's daddy did him. And i got to give you a coat, help me, Holy Ghost, of many colors. Because you've been wearing my name. Amen. I got to dress you up because you've been wearing my name. You can't be wearing my name looking no any kind of way. So I got to command the blessing to come on you. Have I got a witness out here today? Amen. Because you wear my name, I got to make you look like you royalty. I got to make you think like you royalty. I got to make you feel like you royalty. Because you've been wearing my name. I got to show you that because you've been wearing my name, ain't nothing held up in your life. I promise you, church, ain't nothing held up in your life if you just remain faithful and keep wearing his name. Got some more scripture to back it up, Pastor Dixon. Y'all know I do. Revelation 3 and 8, God says, I sit before thee an open door. 
and no man can shut it. I wish somebody would shout with me. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing hell up. God said over in Matthew chapter number 7, somewhere around that 8th verse, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Have I got a witness? One of my favorite scriptures. Amen. Don't get mad at me. But one of my favorite scriptures is Psalms, Sister Dixon, 112 and 3. Wealth and riches is in my house. Y'all ain't going to talk back to me. Amen. Wealth and riches. I didn't write it, but I ain't got no problem pointing it out. Amen. See, you have not because you ask not. Amen. You got to be able to confess this thing. God says if you release my word into the atmosphere, I will do it. Somebody ought to decree right now. Wealth and riches is in my house. Y'all don't want it. How bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough to open up your mouth and send the word out? Let every demon, let every witch, let every warlock, let every hater know wealth and riches is in my house. Let me give y'all one more scripture. Another one of my favorite ones. Third John chapter one, because it ain't but one chapter in the second verse. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou wouldest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. Y'all yeah. can leave y'all blessings on the table if you want to, but I'm going to remind God of everything he promised me. Amen. If he promised me I can have it, I want it. Amen. If he promised me, amen, that ain't nothing held up, God, I want you to open the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing. That there ain't room enough to receive church. I'm done almost. Give me about another three hours. Church, in all honesty, all God is trying to tell you this morning is that if you are obedient, ain't nothing held up in your life. Ain't nothing held up. Let me prove it to you. Years ago, we couldn't even vote. I said years ago, we couldn't even vote. But now we got an African-American woman. Y'all gonna talk back to me. Who is the first female vice president of the United States of America. See, you can't tell me. Come on, y'all. Y'all ought to be helping me right now. Won't nothing be held up in your life if you just be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. Your labor won't be in vain. See, 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 when I think about it now, amen. See, 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 before, years ago, we couldn't even vote. See, now she ain't got to walk into the White House as no slave. She ain't got to walk into the White House now as no servant. Now y'all ain't going to talk back to me. Now she gets to walk into the White House, amen, as the second most powerful person in the whole world. But let me put a caveat there, the third most, because the most important person is Jesus. Y'all ain't going to talk back to me. Jesus, the son of the living God that taken away the sins of the world. And now because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. I know who holds the future. Life is worth the living because my Savior lives. Jesus is the most important person. And then according to the hierarchy of the world, then comes the United States of America. Then that would be Joe Biden. But after Biden, help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody say after Biden, won't nothing be held up. Then comes Harris, amen. She don't have to go in as a slave. She don't have to go in as a servant. She's going in as the third most powerful person in the whole world. You can't tell me what our God won't do. Huh. Ain't nothing held up. Is there anything too hard for our God? Somebody ought to say, no, ain't nothing too hard for our God. Church, ain't nothing held up in your life. Your healing ain't held up. Your deliverance ain't held up. Your peace ain't held up. Your breakthrough ain't held up. Your joy ain't held up. Your comeback ain't held up. Your season ain't held up. Come on, your favor ain't held up. Your provision ain't held up. Come on, y'all. Amen. Ain't nothing held up in your life. I hope somebody's receiving this. Now let me take you to something else and then I promise you I'm done. 
Church, ain't nothing held up in our lives. Ain't nothing held up in our lives. And because, Deacon Tim's, ain't nothing held up in our lives, I'm going to take you to our offertory confession. Are y'all with me? Together, we claim jobs and better jobs. Y'all ain't going to talk back to me. Businesses and better businesses. Come on, y'all. Raises and bonuses. Benefits and promotions. Y'all don't want it. I can tell y'all really don't want it. Land and inheritances. Checks in the mail. Gifts and surprises. To find unclaimed money. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me. Bills and mortgages paid off. Debts decrease and blessings increase. I decree and declare this morning that in my life and in my family and in this church there is no lack. Come on, y'all. There's no lack in my life and in this ministry. Somebody ought to say amen. Amen. And amen. Ain't nothing held up if you just be obedient. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. In the name of Jesus. Ain't nothing. this time, church, we want to extend the invitation to discipleship. There may be somebody here, somebody listening to us, or somebody watching us that has never confessed Jesus as Lord and Savior. And that's the seat that you sit in this morning. We want to offer Christ to you. And there may be somebody else that knows that you've got your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, but you're looking for a good church home to, 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 to sow your roots into. Amen. Well, we want to open the doors of the Mighty Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church and let you know that we are here to receive you. Amen. So no matter what side of the coin you are sitting on, we want you to know, amen, that the, to come on in where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Have I got a witness out here today? Amen. Now, if you are here and you want to confess Jesus as Lord and Savior, if you would just bow your head and pray this simple prayer with me, you can be saved right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come confessing my sins. Will you please forgive me of my sins and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life? I want to live for you forever. And I believe with all my heart that Jesus is the Son of the living God. I believe that he died for my sins and got up on the third day with all power in his hand. And now I want to live for him the rest of my life. Use me for your glory, Lord. Not my will, but thine will be done. And Lord, I want to be obedient to your commands so that nothing will be held up in my life from this moment forward. Receive me into your kingdom. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If there's anyone that prayed that simple prayer, will y'all join me in welcoming him and or her to the family of God and to the body of Christ? Amen. And if you've confessed that confession, and if you want to join up with this body of baptized believers, call the church at 815-937-4300. Leave me your name and number on the church voicemail, and I will get back to you expeditiously. Amen. And we'll pray with you and receive you and pass your information over to our church administrative assistant, Sister Linda Coffey. Amen. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, church, we're going to do this quick, fast, and in a hurry. I done read the tithe scripture to you already. I ain't got to read it again. And I've also given you the offertory confession. I ain't got to read it to you again. All I got to do is thank you in advance for those of you who have been faithful to the commands of Christ. And I want to welcome all others of you who've been convicted and challenged by this message to, for you to sow your seed, amen, and to be a tither and a giver according to the commands of Christ. Amen, someone? Amen. So as we get ready to leave, you can put your tithes and offering in our tithe and offering box, or as Sister Coffee mentioned, you can go and pay online through the GiveLify application. Look up the Mighty Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. You will see a picture of this great church, and that's where you'll know you're in the right place. And you can give online, or you can send your checks or money orders to the church at 7377 East Illinois Street in the beautiful village of Sun River Terrace, Illinois. The zip code is 60964. Amen. So we thank God because God still loves a cheerful giver. Amen. 
somebody ought to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, amen, I'm going to get ready to bring Reverend Robinson. Amen. Because we've done all the other stuff. Now it's time, amen, for our altar prayer, amen, and then we're going to close, and I'll have one more remark after he gets done. But church, at a high level, let's continue to pray you one for another. Yeah. Again, I thank God for all of our mothers that are here. Glad to see my son that walked up, amen. Thank you, God, for him. Thanking God again for the First Lady. Let's remember all the bereaved families, amen. Let's continue to pray ye one for another. Thank God for all of our visitors again, Sister Jackson and so many others of you. And let's pray again for, uh, I was informed today, Sister Sandra Clemens needs our prayers. Brother Fred Pope needs our prayers, amen. Uh, also, Mother Dunn needs our prayers, amen. All of our mothers and our seniors and the sick and shut in. Let's pray for this world and country, and let's pray for every church and pastor, amen. Let's go to the throne of grace right now to find help and mercy. And again, I thank God for those of you who are also on the fast with me again every Sunday morning. Amen. Every Sunday, I should say, from now until the end of the year. Those of you that will, fast and pray with me. And let's watch what the Lord does. Because some things only come by fasting and prayer. Amen. Come on now, Reverend Robinson, as we go to the throne of grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this glorious day. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have devoured and allowed us to have. Thank you for our newer president elect. We thank you for the vice president. We thank you even for all the Congress, Lord. We thank you for the people that stepped out and that won't favor and voted this year. We thank you for allowing us a chance to use the exercise of our limbs. You've been mighty good to us, O oh Lord. Now we ask you to enlarge our territory and bless our pastor and his family in a very special manner. Enlarge their territory, oh Lord. Let them get a good, good night rest, oh Lord. Let them go home before they go to work and be safe and sound and everything be all right. Our loved ones, oh Heavenly Father. Bless our deacons, our mothers, oh Heavenly Father. We thank you for our mothers till we see the mother's sights, mother Hazel, mother, uh, 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 the other mothers. Lord, we, we thank you for all of our, our mothers, oh Heavenly Father. And unless you strengthen them, oh Lord, whether we can build them up, whether they're torn down. Look down on Mother Robinson, Brother Leo, oh Heavenly Father. Strengthen your way, we can build them up, where they're torn down. Then, Father God, look down on Nick and his family, oh Heavenly Father. Stand by them, oh Heavenly Father. We need you to go in the, in the hospital, oh Heavenly Father. Somebody's calling on your name, Lord. Somebody didn't get a good night rest. Somebody had a confused mind, but we know you're a man regulator, Lord. Somebody had it by didn't wake up this morning. We well, actually lift up, bow down heads, oh Heavenly Father. We need you right now. We need you as we're going in. We need you coming out. We need you, oh Lord, as we even go to the store. We need you driving our car. We need you, Heavenly Father, when we even going on the job. We need you to have peace with us before we even get there. We claim victory in there. You said, Lord, that we're faithful over a few things. You'll make a ruler for many, Lord. And we trust and depend on your word. Bless our deacons, oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, bless our, our ministry, oh, Heavenly Father, here in Mount Calvary, Lord. We pray, oh, Lord, that we're doing things pleasing our sight and our eyesight. We pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that you look down on your children today, Lord, and open up in every church in your name, our friends, our visitors, oh, Lord, Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, every preacher that's preaching your word, oh, Heavenly Father. Somebody asks them, what must I do to be saved? Direct their path to which way they need to go, oh, Heavenly Father. Look down on them, oh, read family, all oh, that. Somebody, oh, Lord, needs your strength, oh, Lord. Somebody needs you to hold them up. Somebody needs you, oh, Heavenly Father. Problem up on them, they need to say, oh, Lord, look at the hospitals and the nursing home. All over the land. Somebody, family, oh, Lord. And this epidemic is coming up. We pray, oh, Lord, that you send a, a Heavenly Father cure for the Heavenly Father. That we may be able to go stronger and stronger in our daily lives, oh, Heavenly Father. Children go back to school, oh, Heavenly Father. People go back to work, oh, Heavenly Father. We be able to fellowship one another. We claim, we claim these things, oh, Lord. You said, oh, Lord, in your word, oh, Lord. If we just only walk upright, oh, Heavenly Father. We depend on you from the top of our head down to the bottom of our feet, oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, you've been wonderful to us, oh, Lord. We thank you for food and shelter, Lord. We thank you for clothes on our back. We thank you for automobile to get from there to here, oh, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the peace that we 
walk on. We thank you for the air that we breathe. We thank you for the church that we able to come and sit in the parking lot. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, oh Lord. You've been mighty good to us, Lord. If I had a thousand tongues, I wouldn't know how to thank you enough, oh Lord. Look down, oh Heavenly Father. I said, we go home, oh Heavenly Father. We ask you to make our home be home of peace. Oh, Heavenly Father, let's get home safe and sound, oh Lord. Yo, we are children, oh Heavenly Father. We love you for your word, Lord. We thank you for your word, oh Heavenly Father. We thank you for the messenger, Lord. We thank you for the message, oh Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for being nice to us. We thank you for being kind to us. We thank you even when our darkest days that you brought us out. Oh, Lord, you've been a bridge over troubled water. Yo, Heavenly Father, you've been a door way big, oh Heavenly Father. We claim victory, Lord. Now, Lord, let us go to my seat, oh Lord. The ones that sick, the ones that be here. Look down on them, oh Heavenly Father. Look down on Brother Fred, bro. Send him way we can build him up ways toward that. All our other members, oh Heavenly Father, they need you, right? But Nick needs you, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, we need you, oh Lord, right now, Lord. Not just the, uh, the brother the hill, Lord. We need you every step of the way, oh Lord. We need you to walk with us, Lord. We need you to talk with us, oh Heaven. We need you to keep telling us that we are your child. We need your love, oh Heaven. But we ask you to continue loving us, oh Heaven. Keep a hold of us in the bomb here. We thank you for Sister Border today. We thank you for our visiting friend, Lord. We thank you for our members that have been here, Lord. Now, Lord, as we go to our city, Lord, please don't dismiss. Receive your word, oh Lord. Now we need you, Lord. Now we go along, Lord. Please don't dismiss yourself. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We give God the glory and we give God the praise. Amen. And we thank God for the